Acts 2.42, we find a description of the early church that the modern church would do well to follow. After the day of Pentecost, as the church began to grow, the Apostle Paul said this about the followers of Jesus, and they continued steadfastly in the Apostles' doctrine and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in prayers. They continued in studying the church doctrine that came through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. They shared meals together and practiced the sacrament of communion together as Jesus had instructed them. They prayed for one another, sharing their burdens with each other and with the Lord. And then there was this thing called fellowship. So what is fellowship really? See, in the church today, we stick the word fellowship on just about anything we do. But please listen, while it's great to grab a cup of coffee together, and it's awesome to get a call from a Christian friend out of the blue just to catch up, the meaning behind the word fellowship goes much deeper. Fellowship is first based in relationship. It's a one another connection, and it's based on the connection we have with Jesus Christ. It's a connection of different parts or people that are dependent upon each other. The example in scripture is the human body, distinctly different parts, accomplishing many different functions for the good of the whole. And these connections are active and centered around Jesus. See, it's not just being together, are doing anything together. It's doing the will of God together. So you may be thinking, Joe, are you saying that the church guys coming over to watch a fight, that's not fellowship? That potlucks, picnics, and playing volleyball with my Christian friends is not good or healthy or edifying? No, I'm not saying that at all. What I am saying is this, as followers of Jesus Christ, fellowship can be and should be much deeper, richer, and purposeful than just chilling together. So here's what I hope you'll do this week. Take some time to get together with a Christian friend. Share that time together in authentic Christian fellowship, doing the will of God together. And remember, our fellowship, it's all about Jesus.